In this exam question, it comes to the determination of rate law and reaction order. The following table gives initial rates and initial concentrations of a four reactant reaction. We should use this table to determine the rate law. The rate law of this reaction is R equals K time concentration of A to the A, concentration of B to the B, concentration of C to the C, and concentration of D to the D. We apply the so-called insulation method, that is, we search for specific test pairs that differ only in one initial concentration. If we compare, for example, the third and the fifth experiment, we see that only the concentration of B has changed. B has doubled, and at the same time, the reaction rate has doubled. This means that the reaction is first order with respect to B. Comparing the first with the second experiment demonstrates that a threefold of the concentration A has no effect on the rate of reaction. The reaction order with respect to A is zero. The concentration of the reactant C does also not affect the rate of reaction. Compare experiment 1 and experiment 3. The reaction order with respect to C is zero. If we selectively change the concentration of D, for example, if we compare experiment 3 to experiment 4, then the rate changes by the same factor, in this case 1.5. The reaction is first order with respect to D. Overall, the rate law of this reaction will be R equals K times concentration of B times concentration of D. The rate constant K can be determined by plugging in the combination of initial concentrations and initial rate of reaction of any experiment, we obtain 0 0.041 over bar and minute.